So we really use meibomian gland forceps both in terms of uh, helping to diagnose the uh, underlying condition and also uh, helping therapeutically to treat it uh, by purging out the uh, contents of the blocked glands. So you want to make sure the forceps themselves tuck nicely behind the lid so they're not overlapping the edge because that's when you tend to clip it. So you press uh, firmly on the forceps, ramp up the pressure as you go, uh, either until you get block myobama expressed or that the patient can't, can no longer tolerate the procedure. You work your way along the lid edge, the lid margin, uh, and really just each time, each section squeezing the glands. It's, it is important um, that you try to express every gland thoroughly uh, and that you make sure that uh, as you go, the, the patient isn't too uncomfortable uh, and you just keep going and guiding it along the, uh, the margin of the lid, having used local anaesthetic. Uh, to do the top lid, you just sort of roll out the uh, edge of the lid and again, make sure the paddle is behind the lid margin and just press along the edge of the rolled lid margin. Uh, the top lid usually doesn't tend to seem to be as blocked uh, as the, the bottom. So here we have an example of uh, quite a severe uh, blockage uh, and, and uh, very thick mybum coming out of the glands. Um, and you can see it's even though it's so thick, uh, with the pressure you can exert with the forceps, it does come out quite easily. So here we can see uh, the myobum as it's emerging from the blocked glands with pressure. Uh, this image shows on the left uh, a grade 1 blockage and on the right uh, more like a grade 2 blockage. And often the blockages of adjacent glands are, are not the same grade or level. This image uh, so shows obviously severe grade 4 thickened myobum, so very blocked uh, and obviously quite a lot of it coming out with expression. And depending... Uh, on how much you express, you also then get uh, the presence of excess lipids in the tear film after the procedure.